Hi everybody, this is uh, Gat Sat for the Sat Truth. Today is Mother's Day, and so I thought that I would go back to my uh, inventory of Psychology Today articles uh, wherein I specifically addressed mother-related issues. So I will read to you uh, two separate uh, articles that I uh, had originally published on my Psychology Today blog. Uh, the first one is titled Mothers Who Harm Their Kids to Garner Attention, Dark Side Mothers, Munchausen Syndrome by Proxy. Many of you have now uh, heard me mention this disorder in a different context in the manner by which I've coined the condition known as Collective Munchausen. Uh, the original place where I had first uh, written about this issue stems from a 2010 article that I had published in a medical journal on uh, Munchausen syndrome by proxy, uh, looking at it from an evolutionary perspective, and it's my familiarity with that psychiatric disorder that then led me to diagnose the uh, collective hysteria that is taking place today as collective Munchausen. But in any case, I wanted to read for you uh, this article. So next Sunday, which in this case is today, Millions of people will celebrate Mother's Day. Needless to say, the mother-child relationship is one of the most intense relationships that humans experience. While countless mothers bestow unconditional love upon their children, there are instances where this uniquely privileged relationship breaks down. While very rare, maternal filicide, filicide a mother who kills her child, is maximally repulsive because it runs contrary to some of the most fundamental evolutionary principles that govern Kin Investment, C. Uh, Bourget, Grace, and Whitehurst, 2007, for an exhaustive review of paternal and maternal filicide. By the way, if you want to uh, follow up on many of these articles, then uh, I will post the, the Psychology Today article at the bottom of the description section, uh, and so you'll be able to follow through, follow up if, you, if you're interested in the articles. Many people might remember the 1995 case of Susan Smith, who was found guilty of having murdered her two very young children by letting her car roll into the lake with the children fastened to their car seats. For most people, it is impossible to imagine that a biological mother could be so diabolical toward her offspring. Most people would be willing to die in the protection of their children, and yet here was a woman who disposed of them in a, bewildering, a bewilderingly evil and cruel manner. Beyond maternal filicide, there's another very dark maternal phenomenon that few people are familiar with, Munchausen syndrome by proxy. This, uh, this disorder refers to an adult caregiver who fakes or causes harm to a being in their care. In most cases, the victim is a young child, but other possible targets include the elderly and pest, pets. Cross-cultural studies of this disorder have revealed that the mother is the lone culprit in 86% of cases. This is from Feldman and Brown, 2002. Some of the benefits reaped by Munchausen syndrome by proxy perpetrators include being showered with empathy and sympathy, as well as being hailed for their, quote, heroic, uh, close quote, parental love and devotion. Several years ago, I authored a paper in Medical Hypotheses, SAD, 2010, wherein I offered possible evolutionary-based explanations of Munchausen syndrome by proxy, as well as providing a summary of variables associated with female perpetrators, example, minimally vested male partners. Incidentally, Munchausen syndrome by proxy should not be confused with Munchausen syndrome, which refers to a similar quest of seeking empathy and e sympathy, but by faking or causing an illness or injury to oneself. In a sense, Munchausen syndrome by proxy is much more diabolical in that it utilizes an innocent third party in the pursuit of one's quest for attention. Munchausen syndrome by proxy reminds us that while the nuclear family serves as the source of love and comfort to many people, it can also be at the root of some of the greatest forms of cruelty. After all, in many instances, individuals seek therapy precisely because of damage that was inflicted within the confines of the family unit. So there you have it, folks. This was an article that I had uh, written and published uh, in my Psychology Today column on May 4th, 2015. 
I will post this uh, clip and then I will return and read for you a, another article that I had written also on motherhood uh, on my Psychology Today uh, blog. Hope you're having a good Sunday. I'll talk to you soon. Ciao.